Amy, follow me down here. Good. You're gonna see a blue chair, Great. and that is yours. Cool, thank you. Amy, your performance in American Hustle has brought you your fifth Oscar nomination in less than Crazy. 10 years. <laughs> And you're first in Best Actress, which I think is really great. Thank you. When yes. you think back to your career, was there a moment where you realized that you could be a front runner in this business, someone who makes a difference through their work? Um, it's, it's strange to think about because I never really saw acting in Hollywood as an option until I did the film Drop Dead Gorgeous. And then it just sort of opened up the idea that um, whether or not I could be a front runner, I definitely wanted to try. And you were doing dinner theater. I was doing dinner in theater. In Minnesota, yes. and the movie came to the area to film there. Exactly, so, you know, this was pre-reality television when, you know, <laughs> you had to have a craft to, uh, no offense to anybody, um, to be um, sort of on screen. And, and so um, it just didn't, it, it, it wasn't a reality to me that that could happen. So how did the production of Drop Dead Gorgeous find you where you were, how did you find them? Uh, I had an agent for like industrials and commercials and when the film came to town they were looking for local girls because they wanted it to have a real sort of local feel um, to play some of the contestants. So I just auditioned kind of en masse with all of these girls, yeah. And then did that experience give you the drive and the determination to then come out to Los Angeles? How did that all happen? You know, it put it in my mind. It hadn't, like, it, it made it um, accessible to some degree. I was like, oh, it's, it's the same thing that I do every night in dinner theater, just to a different degree and a different technique. And it presented a really wonderful challenge. And I do love a challenge. So, so what happened? Did you grab your brother and say, let's just do this? Did you talk about it for a long time? How was I the I was going to go to New York before Drop Dead Gorgeous. I was going to go to New York and pursue musical theater. And so when I did Drop Dead Gorgeous, it coincided with an injury. So yeah, I just said, you know what? Maybe I'll go out to LA and see what that has to hold. So <laughs> Who drove? I did. Well, we both drove, but unfortunately his car broke down outside of Las Vegas, New Mexico, which is not to be confused with Las Vegas, Nevada, okay. in any way, shape, or form. Not as exciting, probably. Uh, <laughs> uh, exciting. Um, <laughs> but so, and we didn't have a cell phone. We didn't, I mean, this was pre-cell phone. I had a pager. That wasn't going to do me a lot of good. And a credit card, luckily. So we... Uh, Somebody went ahead to the next town for us and got a tow truck and we got a U-Haul out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. It was very strange. And then <laughs> drove in uh, down Santa Monica Boulevard on January 17th, 1999, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Do you think about that road trip a lot now that you've reached this pinnacle of your career? I think about a lot of things. I think, I think how funny, how funny we were, how green. I hadn't been socialized at all. I didn't go to college, so I was sort of socially about 16 years old. Still am, kind of. <laughs> um, haven't quite, you know, which has been probably a lifesaver. I've just never felt like I could do the Hollywood thing, or it never felt comfortable to me. So mm. I focused on my work, you know, instead of focusing on being hot or going out or any of that stuff, yeah. Well, I think there's a lot of people who are fans of yours who are happy you made the drive from Aww, Minnesota to LA, so congrats. Thank you. Stick around, we have a lot more with Amy Adams coming up on Fandango Frontrunners.